Today, I want to tell all filmmakers about this awesome campaign that Hollyland is hosting. It's called Feel My City, where you can take 30 seconds or more footage and tell a short story about your city. Here's my entry. I guess I never really got to stop and think about the sounds of my city. Huh. <laughs> Los Angeles. First thing I hear are the busy streets. People going about their day. Cars rustling by. Angry drivers honking. Ugh, traffic. But there's Santa Monica, the boardwalk. All I hear is fun. People enjoying themselves, walking on those wooden planks. When you stop and listen, it's almost hypnotic. And I can't forget the whistling waves of Malibu. I can hear every single drop of the seawater. And lastly, the home where I grew up. Well, to be honest, all I really heard were the crickets. These sounds give me grounding, they give me peace, and they give me love for where I live. These are the sounds of Los Angeles. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And by the way, I recorded all of the sound effects while using the Lark 150. So check out the link down below to enter. And for those of you who win, we'll get tens and tens of thousands of dollars worth of filmmaking equipment. And right now, we're gonna actually talk about the behind the scenes of how I created that video. Now here we are, starting with the video. This is my timeline in Final Cut Pro 10. I wanted to set the tone and actually set some sort of direction. By doing that, I added an ambient soundtrack from Epidemic Sound, so that you can hear slightly throughout the whole entire video. However, when we start moving over to the first official shot where you see the Hollywood sign, I started adding some sound effects of cars going by. How did I capture this? Well, obviously I used the Lark 150, and what's really cool about the system, because the microphone is so tiny, I was able to put it far away from the camera. So that way I could capture sounds that are probably pretty difficult to get, especially up close with a larger rig. So I was able to get the shot and the sound effect at the same exact time. And because the sound was amplified, it gives us more latitude in post-production to make it quieter or just play around with the sound in general. And I also used a wind muff on this microphone because if you're shooting outside, odds are you're probably gonna encounter some wind. Next shot we have here is this guy walking down the street. You can hear his individual footsteps. And I captured this myself using the Lark 150. I was just walking in place. People thought I was kind of psycho because they were driving by and I was just walking in place recording my footsteps. But I was recording it at that location because I wanted it to sound as accurate as possible. The footsteps were louder than they needed to be, which was great because that allows me more latitude and more ways to play around with that sound. So I dropped it down just a little bit and I added that little touch of those footsteps because it immerses the audience. So I really did enjoy this shot. Also notice if you look at my timeline, some of the audio clips are split away from the actual footage because I shot all of these audio effects using my camera. So I didn't have a separate recorder on hand. So don't worry if you don't have a recorder, you can definitely use your camera and in editing, you can detach the audio from that clip and use it for other clips as well. And that's exactly what I did in this video. Next shot we have here are some cars driving by. I used the same exact sound effect as before. I let it run for a pretty long time for about a minute or a minute and a half. So I just dragged that sound through multiple clips and you can see that right here. Then we go back to me talking, no sound effects there. And here's the next shot of the Santa Monica Pier. This was also fun to capture because I was able to place the mic really close to the action where people were walking. And while the sound was being captured, I was far away from the mic on my camera recording all of these sounds. And I actually used the sounds of the people walking on the boardwalk or the pier itself, and I used it for multiple different shots. The next shot is the waves in Malibu. This was awesome. Just capturing those individual drops of water in that wave, it was just great. It was so awesome and, and gratifying to listen to this in post. And the last shot is my family home. I have a sound effect of crickets, and luckily where I live now, I have a ton of crickets around me, so I was able to go out late at night, just record the crickets chirping, and that's what I was using for this shot too. So with the shot, along with the sound of the crickets chirping, I added this whistling sound. I recorded this myself while using the Lark 150 and that little wind muff, and it didn't distort the audio at all, 
and it added this nice ambience to the shot and it was a great way to end this video too. So that's how I wrapped up this video. All the sound effects I manually did with the Lark 150. I was able to shift around the sound effects to other clips too, which is how this video worked out. And again, if you're interested in joining this campaign, check out the link down below, and I can't wait to see what you create. Peace.